Signal is a chat messaging voice and video calling app, much like WhatsApp and Telegram. It was recently recommended by tech entrepreneurs Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey and has been a longtime favorite of privacy advocate Edward Snowden. So how do you start using Signal? Well, Signal is available on iOS and Android, as well as PC, Mac and Linux. Although you can't use it on a desktop platform without first installing it on your mobile phone. Download Signal to your mobile device like any other app from the App Store. When you first open the app, you'll be taken through the setup process. Firstly, you'll be asked to give permission to allow notifications and access your contacts. By allowing access to your contacts, Signal will then check if any of them are also signed up to the app. Signal then asks for your phone number to authenticate you. Having added your phone number, you'll receive a verification code to validate your account. You then provide your name, providing your surname is optional, and finally a PIN number. The PIN number is only used to secure your information, so don't worry, you won't be asked for the PIN every time you want to use the app. The final step in the registration process is to allow Signal to find other devices on your local Wi-Fi network. This is used should you ever transfer your account to a new phone or device and is not entirely necessary. Regardless of whether you allow or disallow this option won't affect you using the app. Having completed the setup process, you'll be taken to your home screen, which is also your inbox. This is where you will start to see the messages you send and receive. If you allowed access to your contacts during setup, Signal will notify you if any of them are already on the app. And I can see that Wilson has the jump on me and already signed up. Along the top of the window is the main menu. The first option takes you to settings and your profile. I won't go through all the settings, but just some of the more common ones. For example, you can click on your name and change or add a profile picture. You'll need to allow access to your camera or photo library to do so, and I'll choose my Faculty of Apps logo as my profile pic. You can invite friends who are not already on Signal by simply clicking on their name, and this will generate an SMS containing a link that your friend can then click on to install the app. In appearance, you can set the app to use dark mode. There are numerous privacy options for you to sift through and you can change how Signal notifies you when you receive a message. For example, you can change the alert tone and how much information is displayed on your lock screen. If you want to use Signal on a second device, such as your computer, linked devices is where you can link your account using a QR scanner. Simply download the Signal app for Windows, Mac or Linux by going to signal.org forward slash download and once installed, use your phone to scan the QR code that appears on your computer screen. You'll need to allow Signal access to your camera to do this. Back on the main screen, the next menu option is to access your camera should you want to send a quick photo to a friend. Here I'll send Wilson a photo of my camping lamp that I recently bought from Ikea. Having taken the photo, I'll choose Wilson from my contact list and hit send. You'll notice that my chat session with Wilson now appears on the main screen. The final menu option is to create a new message or new group. To create a group, simply click on new group and add the people from your contacts you wish to include. Since I only have Wilson in my contacts, I'll just add him. Give your group a name. I'll call my group Castaways and click Create. This will send out an invitation to everyone you included in the group. You'll start to see notifications popping up on the screen as your friends begin to accept their invites. To add additional people after creating the group and to access your group settings, click on the group name at the top of the screen. If the people you want to add are already on Signal and in your contacts, you can simply click on Add Members. Otherwise, you can create an SMS link for those who are not on Signal. Click on Group Link and enable the option. Choose Share and then select the app you wish to use to send out the link. 
If you enable the approve new members option, you will receive a notification to approve each member before they can join the group. If the notification doesn't pop up automatically, you can access them in members requests and invites. To start a group video call, click on the camera icon in the group chat window. If you wish to make an individual call, open up your chat session from the main inbox or click on the new message menu option, choose the individual you wish to call and either click the video or the telephone icon, depending on how you wish to speak to them. And that is how to start using Signal. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.